Okay, so on this segment, we're just going to be going over some digital painting gear and some of the equipment that you're going to need to be successful in this course. Uh, to start off, I'm just going to show you what I'm using as far as my digital paintings are concerned. And I'm using a Huon GT191. It's a 19-inch it's a digital tablet. It's got a digital pen right here. And then these are all like the various kinds of works and digital paintings that I've already kind of done on my own using the Krita software that I'm going to be going through uh, in this course. Uh, what's really nice about this tablet in itself is just that the, the fact that you can draw on the screen and that you could paint on the screen is going to give you some really severe advantages compared to just having a tablet where you have to coordinate your hand and eye type of uh, uh, coordination when you're trying to see the screen and then draw what you're seeing. Additionally, I have a monitor bracket, an arm, and it's got some nice cable management systems here. And so that really helps me to, to kind of position it, rotate the screen and so forth, and to, and to be able to get a lot more use out of it. Man, the flexibility and the possibilities are limitless. You can move this screen up and down. You can rotate it side to side. I mean, look at this thing. You can just pivot. You can swivel it. You can do anything you want. You can even prop it up at different angles. I tell you, man, this is the only way to go when you're digital painting. Now that said, of course, you can use a mouse if you'd like, but you know, look at this guy. He's trying to use this mouse. He's struggling a little bit and he's getting a little frustrated. And man, I tell you, this guy's got some serious anger issues here. Now here, I'm just going to do a quick sketch just to kind of show you how just using this tablet really does kind of emulate what you would do if you have uh, a pen and pencil and some paper. Uh, so it really does a great job of giving that pressure sensitivity that you're looking for uh, that is similar to what you do in uh, picking up a pencil. So pressure levels on a Huon tablet is about 8,000 or a little over 8,000. There are other tablets that you can buy uh, such as Wacom and Wacom is a little bit more expensive but the build quality of Wacoms are fantastic. The GT191 that I have right now is no longer available, but Wacom or I'm sorry, Huon has a ton of different other kinds of tablets with varying sizes. You can get them between 13 inches all the way up to 22 inch uh, widescreen tablets and they are incredible. As far as the, the price is concerned for these compared to the Wacom, uh, huge advantages right there. But I really enjoy it because using Krita software, I can get a really nice pencil feel approach to it and it just feels really good. The newer tablets are even better because they've got even a sort of a surface on top of the screen in itself that gives you a little bit of a textured feel to it like paper. And so definitely a huge advantage there if you're looking to uh, invest into digital painting and making it more of a long-term use for you. Bear in mind, there is no better time to get into this sort of hobby. And you don't have to be a professional artist to engage into art. With people working from home, saving on long commutes to the office, you can reinvest that extra hour or two into hobbies you've been putting off for years. We have so many options available from cheaper digital painting tablets and incredible free digital painting software. The barrier of entry is very economical for you. So I encourage you to give it a shot check out some of the other digital painting tablets and make sure you understand what your purpose is and what you're trying to get out of it. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. As I mentioned earlier, I'll have an introductory course on digital painting using free digital painting software. I'll be posting some free videos from the course on YouTube in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. Keep sketching and drawing and I'll see you here next week on Driven to Draw. Have a good one.